What is up, everybody? Might as well get a little helium out of it. <laughs> Friday and it is a beautiful day it's uh, about one o'clock got off work early 75 degrees outside and I'm gonna go and spend the afternoon in the woods to try to find some sheds I'm gonna check my trail cameras check my feeder make sure the deer have all the protein they need um, and scout for some turkeys because turkey season starts here in about eight days something like that april 6th it starts here in oklahoma and so i'm gonna get them all scouted up and ready for that and like i said i'm gonna go out and see if i can find me some sheds and ch check these cameras and just be outside it's too too nice to be stuck inside today so anyways stay tuned hopefully we'll have some good stuff for you to show also if you haven't followed us already on Facebook and Instagram, you might want to follow us if you want to enter a couple of contests. We are about to launch a contest probably next week, or we'll probably launch it on April 1st. Um, it's a contest for the biggest turkey. So, the way you'll enter, you'll go to our Instagram website, and uh, you'll tag us, DM us a picture of your 2021 kill with the length of the spurs the length of the beard and the weight of the bird and a picture of it and the biggest biggest turkey for 2021 season will win a $200 prize and a hype hat I'm currently wearing a camouflage hype outdoors hat anyways or if you'd rather have a shirt we can get you a shirt um, either or it'll be your choice so we'll get that to you and uh anyways so if you want to enter the the uh little drawing you just follow us on social media and we'll get it done Okay guys, I've made it out here to our farm and I'm kind of recording in the truck right now because it's so windy out today. Anyways, we're going to go out, I'm going to do some shed hunting, check these trail cameras and uh, I'll record when I can when it's not super windy so it's not muffled. Anyways, I'm going to get out here and we're going to see what we can find. Guys, I'm tickled pink right now. <laughs> Here's a nice shed right here by our feeder. Looky there. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. Be a good deer next year. Look at that, right here in front of our feeder. All right, looks like he dropped. Maybe I don't know. It's not too fresh, but three or four weeks ago, maybe. Awesome. I actually know this deer too. We've got him on trail camera. I'll uh. Pretty sure it's the same deer. I'll see if I can find him and put a picture up for you guys. I'm checking along this, this creek bank right here because these deer travel this because there's a crop field on this side. We got crops on that side and there's a creek and this is their coverage right here. So this is where more than likely we're gonna find any sheds. That's where we found this one. Because I've got a feeder up there that feeds protein. And I'm betting he dropped this up there whenever uh, that cold snap hit. And we had all that snow and stuff. And uh, anyways, when they were up there getting their protein whenever it was negative 10 degrees outside. So uh, anyways, I'm going to 
travel this wood line and creek bottom and see if I can find a couple more. So we'll see. Man, it sure is pretty in here. I've got a trail camera set right up here. trail camera here in just a little while so but we're gonna look for a while before we check them old grubs down came up right here I mean they've got a natural trail it goes right through here it's definitely in fresh tracks it's definitely good stuff one little tip for you guys if you ever go out shed hunting is to uh, be sure you take it slow. If you, as you can see, if I drop that right there, that shed just blends right in with that grass. I mean, tough to see, especially if you get it in the shadows. So, I mean, it's the same color as the grass. So, just a little tip. And, uh, This spot that we're in right now overlooks this bean field. Well, this year it'll be uh, corn. And uh, anyways, this little area right here is usually like a little bedding area. And there's always just rubs and scrapes all throughout this. I mean, everywhere. And uh, anyways, and that stand right there, I've hunted in several times. That's actually the stand that Andrea killed her first deer in but uh anyways I'm gonna check this over really good because like I said the deer use this for bedding a lot and uh anyways it's a pretty good area for deer to drop your horns on so I'm gonna look pretty good here and see if I can find anything right there's my trail camera Good spot. Here's one of my old deer stands I built whenever I was a kid. I wouldn't want to get up in that thing now. That thing's been there probably 15, 20 years. But I killed some deer out of it. Body's uh Valentine ended up out here on my my place. So whenever y'all turn them loose in the air, this is where they wind up. I'm pop this thing, put it in my pocket. Well, might as well get a little helium out of it. <laughs> oh God. Whew. Dad gum. Okay guys, I was so freaking excited. I think I thought I just found another shed. Because if you look, it looks like there's a shed. Right there somewhere. For, but yeah. Looks like there's a shed right there. So once I come on up here, I realize my decoy that I left underneath my tree over in a bush last last fall. And uh, anyways, I left it in a bush and I was going to come back and get it next time I came up here. And I guess the water came up and washed it down to here. And <laughs> there's the, uh, here's the horn. Here's the other one. And here's my decoy. So I got to carry this sucker back to the truck. <laughs> All right. We're going to see if this white boy has some hops. Oh boy, here we go. 
<laughs> he does. There's more armadillos up here than I can shake a stick at. All right, guys. Found shed number two. actually looks like one from last year maybe heck yeah yeah I think this one's from last year it's already been chewed on a little bit it's a nice deer sweet we'll keep looking Kind of bone. Right here. Right here. Bones here. There's one of our double set stands right over here. As you can see. That's a pretty good spot. cameras on another one out there. He's a pretty nice little guy. Squirrels have already got to him. One from last year. Like I said, it turned out to be a nice little nice day to go out and do some shed hunting. This is a nice little probably a 10 point that I found. This is the one I'm excited about. He'll be a good one next year. I'm pretty sure I have trail camera pictures of this guy. He's a, I want to say if it's the deer I'm thinking of, he's a 10 point. He's a mainframe 9, and he's got split D2s on the uh, right side if it's the same deer I'm thinking about. But I'll have to take a look at the trail camera pictures. And then this one, it's an older one, but that's the last, last uh, May or last time they, the sheds fell. But, uh, anyways, not the best trip, but hell three sheds is good enough for me and then I got the trail cameras so uh hopefully we'll have some good trail camera pictures and at the end of the video I'll show you some of the deer that we have hopefully for the 2022 season no the 2021 season I'm all mixed up but anyways I'm gonna get home check out check out these trail cameras and uh put some pictures at the end of the video so uh, anyways appreciate you guys I'll stay tuned.